Hey there folks, are you not really a bike person? Well, then this review may just be for you. This is the Raptor Pro, the latest addition to the Circuiter family. This all-terrain beast is perfect for adrenaline junkies, off-road enthusiasts, and anyone who needs a powerful all-wheel drive scooter at a price point of 1100 bucks. So suit up, strap in, and let's see what the Raptor Pro has to offer. First, let's talk about the thing, or things, that powers the Raptor Pro. The Raptor Pro comes equipped with two 800-watt brushless DC motors that provide enough get-up and go to leave your soul behind. The motors are located in the hub of each wheel, and you can swap between single or dual modes. And with its all-terrain wheels, you'll have no problem taking this baby off-road. But what about the battery life? Well, the Raptor Pro has a massive 20 amp hour battery that can take you over 30 miles on a single charge. That's right, you can ride all day and still have juice left over for a night ride. And with a charging time of about seven hours, you'll be ready to scoot around after a full day's work. The Raptor Pro has a sturdy aluminum alloy frame that can support up to 440 pounds. The frame's construction and geometry make it suitable for riders of all sizes, though it is a bit on the bigger slash taller side of things. The locking mechanism for the stem is very secure, and as someone who's had a scooter or two fold under them while they're going 20 miles per hour, this added security is very much appreciated. With its solid tires in front and rear mechanical disc brakes, the Raptor Pro is built to handle any sort of riding that you'd like to do. But what really sets it apart is its suspension system. The Raptor Pro is a full suspension scooter that's smooth and comfortable even on bumpy roads. Now, normally we see these scooters and the suspension is underwhelming, but for me at 220 pounds, the shocks seemed like they were stiff enough to provide some great cushion to heavier riders as well. The Raptor Pro has both front and rear mechanical disc brakes as well as an electric brake for added stopping power. The brakes are responsive and effective, giving you the confidence to tackle any hill or obstacle. Since we'd want to be taking this thing into, you know, wild situations, I'd like to see hydraulic brakes here maybe for future models of the scooter, but these brakes functioned well and I don't really have any complaints about them. The Raptor Pro comes with a variety of extras as well. It has both front and rear lights for added visibility, fenders to keep you clean and dry, and a built-in USB so you can charge your phone on the go. It also has integrated turn signals, which is pretty dope. And the Raptor Pro ships with a pretty handy handlebar mounted bag to carry a few smaller items. Also, you can even download the Circuiter app to track your rides, customize your settings, and more. The display here is easy to read and provides all the information you need, including your speed, battery life, all that jazz. You know, it's actually a pretty cool screen to look at. Unfortunately, the frame rate for the ride test was not compatible with it, so it looks like something out of Tron, but just know it's pretty snazzy. So who is the Raptor Pro for? Well, if you're an adrenaline junkie, off-road enthusiast, or just someone who wants to feel the power of 1600 watts below your feet, the scooter was designed for you. It's perfect for commuting, weekend adventures, or just cruising around with friends. And with its all-terrain wheels and suspension system, you can catch a little air every now and again. And I wouldn't say that about most scooters, but like I said, the lucky mechanism here is rock solid, and even scooter wary me would feel comfortable jumping a gap here and there. Now, I didn't do any of that in the ride test that you'll see here, but the only reason for that was it's been raining and my local trails were closed and I respect the hard work of all the trail builders out there. So let's cruise around on the Raptor Pro. All right, guys, we're out here on the Raptor Pro doing a little ride test. Let's go ahead and hit it and get it. We've got the little underside thumb throttle over here on the right-hand side. Now, to be fair, to be honest, to be third party, to be objective, I gotta tell you that uh, it does lose a little bit of juice when the battery is a little bit lower. So right now I'm at two bars while I'm doing the ride test. We had a lot of fun today, you know, riding it around and doing some fun stuff on it. So normally it gets up to that 20 miles per hour a lot faster than it is right now. So I'm just letting you guys know like, oh, that kind of seemed kind of slow. Like it would, when I had this thing fully charged, it was burning out on the concrete which was pretty wild. A little bit unnerving the first time you do it because, you know, you're kind of expecting to kind of like take off, but it's, you know, it's acting all crazy. So, now one of the things that you'll notice that I took my thumb off the thumb throttle and we're still going. So it has a cruise control. Now I'm not a huge fan of cruise control on scooters. I think if I was gonna be, you know, cruising down a long stretch of road for a long period of time, maybe that would work for me, but most of the time you're probably not going to be just going full speed and so that's probably something that can be disabled in the settings i haven't done that so we're just utilizing the cruise control so it gives me more brain power to uh, chat with you fine folks now it is full suspension so it's kind of like jump up and down it's got a very nice feel it's not too springy like some of those scooters that have sort of that you know they say full suspension and it's just you know like yeah there's suspension in the front there's suspension in the back but it doesn't feel sorry a fly went in my mouth oh, oh god this is like a whole path of flies so it doesn't necessarily feel 
like its suspension. This one feels very solid. I'm about 220, and so for me, I feel like I can. Get, what, is it, what are these flies doing? For me, I feel like I could, you know, sit around, eat Papa John's, get an extra 30 pounds, and this would still be a pretty solid, very comfortable ride for me. So I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I'm really moving the suspension that much, but when I do hit a bump or if I'm trying to like jump off something, then, you know, you can, you can tell that the front and rear suspension is working. So as far as a ride feel goes, it is pretty solid. Now, I've got pretty wide feet, probably average length, and one of the things that I noticed is that I probably wish I had a little bit more deck space on here, just because that'd be nice. I like, you know, I like uh, wider things. You know, have you guys heard me uh, talk about pedals? I say the same thing about pedals. So, you know, if you could look down, which I'm not gonna let go with one hand, because if you ever ridden a scooter with one hand, you know, that's not fun. Uh, it doesn't usually end well, but uh, it does, my, my foot does stick out a little bit on the backside and a little bit on the front if I wanna go sort of perpendicular but if I you know get like a nice 45 degree angle going then yeah this this feels great brakes work nice go ahead and take it on this rock path over here we do have these bigger tires up in the front so should be able to easily handle something like this see how much control we get gosh the cruise control gets me every time I'm like uh, I should be slowing down All right, now we are uh, we're cruising. I feel like I've got pretty good control. Now this is sort of like a, I don't know, pea gravel on top of sort of some more of like a hard packed dirt. So it could be a little bit loose. And so if I didn't have you know, necessarily a good grip, probably get some sliding, but I'm not, I'm not feeling any sliding here. So that's nice. So but you gotta take this off road and do a little adventure and you can do that. But this, uh, yeah, that, uh, thingy that makes it go. Well, for some reason I forgot what the word was. At least it beeps and lets you know so I can know to, to check that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, make sure the coast is clear. Let's hit a curb here real quick. Oh yeah, nice and easy. Easy breezy. Alright, there's our uh, cruise control. Wow, I remembered the, the word again. Come to an always stop here. Just get it nice and nice and stopped like. Thank you, sir. A rare sight, ladies and gentlemen. Me stopping at a stop sign for a review video. You've seen it here first. All right, speed limit here is 20 miles per hour. Guess what? We can go 20 miles per hour. That works out. Now, as far as handling goes, I was doing a lot of carving kind of when I was getting ready to do the video, and it just, it feels so nice. Now, if you gotta maneuver this around in the garage or something like that, you don't have a whole lot of turning up in the front, but on a scooter, especially a scooter, you know, where you're going 20 miles per hour on it, you don't need a lot of turn radius, right? Because yeah, that's just not how uh, physics work. Let's go ahead and do a little brake test here at the stop sign. Nice and easy. A little squeaky, but I'd rather it be a little squeaky and uh, stop me before I got hit by something than, uh, you know, be silent but deadly. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, stop sign over here. Like a like a good a good traffic person. Let's see if we can catch some of these cars. And like I mentioned, it is definitely you know a little bit slower on the takeoff than it was when it has full juice on it. So a little bit of a different experience when it's sort of running out of uh, battery. But we had a lot of fun on it this morning and uh, you know, riding it off-road, doing some other stuff. I guess you guys will never see that. Oh, let's hit up here. This seems fun. Just trying to scooter along a pathway. Nothing to see here, a little bump. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's... This is gonna be a video, it's like, uh, why I hate cruise control on scooters. I don't hate it, like I said, it's got its use case, but I'm not used to it, and so it's a little bit, yeah, it's catching me off guard a little bit here and there. All right, let's take a slow curve. Let's see what that does. Wow, a lot of clearance here. 
That was pretty easy. I was, I was kind of preparing for a scrape, but didn't get it. Didn't get the scrape. There we go, and we're off to the races. Which races are we going to? I don't know, but we're going. So all in all, the ride feel here is very fun. If you guys are into, you know, electric scooters, you like going fast, you like having something that's a little bit beefier, you know, as we mentioned a couple times in the review, like this thing is just thicker, it's beefier, it's got a very robust locking mechanism. And as somebody who has personally known someone who has been betrayed by a scooter locking mechanism before, that was really nice to see. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. There we go. Whew. Made it. Oh, gosh. That cruise control. Every time, guys. Every time. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for our review of the Raptor Pro. If you guys want to know more about it, So what's the verdict? The Raptor Pro is an all-wheel drive scooter that seems like it should cost more than its current price of $1,100. The locking mechanism is awesome, the suspension on par with that, and 1600 watts of power is pretty gosh darn fun. Thanks for tuning in, let us know what you thought about the Raptor Pro down in the comments below, and we'll catch you on the next one.